In this tutorial, I will show you how to assign a Google Slides presentation assignment in Google Classroom. And really, one of the best things about Google Classroom is the fact that it integrates so well with Google Drive. So let's look at how to do this. I'm going to go into my Spanish 2 course, and I'll go to the Classwork tab, and I'll click Create and choose Assignment. That opens up a blank assignment, and I can go in and give it a title. Something like Spanish-speaking country reports. I'd like my students to choose a Spanish-speaking country and do a presentation using Google Slides, create it, submit it, and then present it. I can type some instructions, create a Google Slides presentation based upon the included template. At this point, I can just click Create and then choose Slides. And here, I will soon be taken to Google Slides. Here I am and I could create a presentation for my students to watch. In this case though, I don't want this to be a presentation that they watch. I want it to be a presentation that they customize and that they build and create themselves. So this will just be the template that they look at and that they build from in creating their own presentation. So I can name it, I can then click to add a subtitle, and of course I could continue to build this slideshow slide by slide until I'm done. And at some point, I should name it. Just by clicking in the box, it automatically named it based on my first line in the presentation. So that's perfect. At this point, I can just X out of it, pretending that it's actually done, which it's not. And that Google Slides presentation is now attached to this particular assignment. Even though it says Untitled Presentation, don't worry about that. The next time I log out and log back in, or even go to the course homepage and then come back into the assignment, the assignment name will be updated. Now that this presentation is attached to this assignment, notice these very important options here at the right. By default, the students will be able to view the file, so they'll be able to watch this presentation. In many cases, that's exactly what you'll want. Maybe before the students write an essay or a report, you want them to go through a presentation that you've created to review some things, and then they turn in the work. So in many cases, this will be perfect. But in this case, I want the students to be able to work on this presentation, to build it out with their own content and their own ideas. So I need to choose from one of these two options. I can make it so the students can edit the file themselves. If I choose this, any student that this assignment is assigned to will be able to work together on the same exact presentation. And as a result, they may overwrite each other's work. In some cases, that's exactly what you want. You want students to collaborate on one shared Google Slides presentation. In this case, though, I want to make a copy for each student. Now, before I go on, I want to show you maybe an even better way of doing what I just did. I'm going to X out of this presentation so it's no longer attached to this assignment. Instead of creating the Google Slides presentation right here on the spot inside of my assignment builder, it's often better to create the presentation beforehand, maybe days beforehand or weeks or hours beforehand. In that case, just click Add and select Google Drive, and it should bring up some recent documents that you've created, and there's some that I created further in the past below that. You can also search and you can upload directly from your own computer hard drive. You could search through your shared drives. There's a bunch of different ways to find the file that you want to upload. But like I said, I created this earlier and that's exactly the one I want. I'll just click Add after selecting it. And now this other presentation that I created when I had the time and I was able to focus on exactly what I wanted to include, that's the one that's now attached to this assignment. Just like before, I can switch this to say make a copy for each student and then on the right side I can determine which students get this assignment. Is it just Spanish 2? Also I could choose to assign this to all students or to specific students and this is a really good setting to have because if you recall there is an option for students to edit a file together. So if I wanted to I could divide up my class into groups of five let's say or groups of three and then I create an assignment for each of those small groups. And then I change the setting to students can edit file. And then I assign it specifically to the three or four or five students that are going to be working together on that specific slideshow. And I could uncheck all students and just select the specific students that are going to work on that. In this case, though, I'll just leave it at all students. 
I can set the number of points. I can put in a due date and also time if I would like to. And I can assign it to a topic or create a topic for this assignment to go into. You can also create a rubric or reuse a rubric that you've used in the past. And if you'd like to learn how to create a rubric, please watch my previous videos on Google Classroom, especially the one that focuses on grading. In this case though, I really do want to make a copy for each student so that each student will have their own copy and they won't be overwriting each other's work. Here in the upper right, I can just click Assign to assign all students to do this country report presentation. There's also an arrow there though that instead of just assigning, I could schedule this assignment for the future. I'm going to go ahead and click Assign and Assign again. And I want you to see what it looks like from the student's perspective. So this is a student account in the Spanish 2 class. As a student, I can sign into the course. In my stream, I can see that a new assignment has been given to me. I can also go to Classwork to find it. And then I can just click and notice that I have my own personal copy of this slide's presentation. It's got the student name on it, and it says Country Report Slides Template. I can click View Assignment to get into the assignment itself. To start working on the slideshow, I can just click here, and it takes me to my own copy of the template. At this point, as a student, I could type in the new title for my slideshow, put in my name. If I want to, I can choose a theme to make it look a little nicer, and I can work my way through this slideshow, deleting slides that I don't need just by right-clicking, choosing Delete, and so on. When the student is done creating the presentation, he or she can just X out of the presentation. If more work needs to be done later, you can just click back on the slideshow's name and it pulls you right back in with all your work saved. At this point, the student can make some comments and can just click Turn In and Turn In. And that slideshow now is submitted to the teacher. Back in the teacher account, I can click on the specific assignment to see that one person has turned it in. And I can just click on that to be taken directly to that person's submission. I can click on it to look at their presentation. I can leave comments for the students, either private comments that I could post, or you can also use this tool. This is a comment bank, and I just love this. I can type in, well done, excellent work, stupendous, and maybe some Spanish. That might be good. And click Add. And those comments aren't added directly to this presentation. Instead, they're listed here so that anytime I need a buenísimo, I can just go over here and click these three dots, choose Copy to Clipboard, and then I can go back and just paste it in as a private comment. I can assign a grade for this assignment. And then when I'm ready to send this back to the student, I can just click Return and Return. Let's now look again at the student account. As the student, when I go back to this assignment, I can see my score and the private comments that were given to me. So I hope that you can see the potential here for assigning presentations for your students to create and providing maybe a template for them to help them follow it. Or you could create the beginnings of a slide presentation that they then complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to my Patreon in the description below.